Okay, so if you made it through the weekend, uh, pat yourself on the back. It was a doozy, was it not? Okay, so I wish I could tell you it was going to get better this week. But you know me, I, I call it like I see it. And this week will be more of the same. It's highly emotional, highly passionate, highly intense, but it's also doing something. There's a purpose to this energy and it's forcing us, our awareness to expand around specific topics, primarily love life, decisions about career. You know, it's mainly things we've been dealing with for long periods of time that we need an answer. We need to take a direction somewhere. We need, to, we need to make a decision about something, and we finally are getting the clarity to make that decision and probably end some long-term situations, maybe get into new. That could be personal or professional. So that's what this emotion forces out of us. So just survive it is all I can say. Survive it. The days will get better as you get in further into July. Uh, just this week in particular is quite, quite quite difficult. Uh, it's just, it's a lot, but you know, we're made for this. We're strong, we're courageous. We've got this. We'll get through it. We'll do it together. All right. Now I'm going to address the presidential election, not because I like doing that. Matter of fact, I get more hate messages when I talk politics than any other time. But so many of you are asking me to look again at the energy from when I predicted um, December of 2023. I still predict a Biden win. I know I didn't watch the presidential debate. Uh, I already knew what it was about before I turned it on. Why would I watch? I don't like to look at car crashes on the side of the road either, right? But I've seen plenty of memes and all the things all over social media about what a fiasco it was for the Democrats. So Here's my point of view about it. I still feel the Democrats are going to take the White House in the in November, and that has nothing to do necessarily with Joe Biden. Uh, Donald Trump's energy continues to feel too heavy, too heavy, and he can't ascend. That's I, you know, I read energy. That's all I do, um, and. He just doesn't get there as hard as he may try. But here's the thing I understand about both the left and the right. I mean, the Democrats will vote for Joe Biden, even if his head is in a jar of formaldehyde sitting in the Oval Office, because we have become such a divided country. And just like people who will support Donald Trump, they're going to support Donald Trump no matter what. He can do anything. Uh, he can be a convicted felon, and that's not a problem, right? And with Joe Biden, literally, just put the body in the chair. I'm sorry to laugh, but it's it's a little bit humorous. It just put the body in the chair and vote him in. It's it's kind of like they will vote him in no matter what. So even right now, even though the left is completely in an uproar and terrified because we've seen the truth of what Joe Biden is, uh, I don't think it has any bearing on the outcome. I think the only thing that could change the outcome is if the Democrats change who they put in the race. If they change it to Kamala Harris or someone else, I think then the trajectory could change. But so long as Joe Biden's head is sitting in a jar of formaldehyde on the chair, I'm sorry for all of you who are so concerned, Democrats are going to vote for him. So I don't know. That's my view. Um, I can't wait to read the comments. I know they're going to be flying wild. Those, there's going to be sparks coming off the keyboard, but that's my view. All right, my friends, I hope you have a good week.